Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to look at some earlier of the Tiger I tanks in the Panzer Gray. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Got these out here. Most of these are uh, pre-made Dragon, and a couple of them aren't. And we're going to take a look at them. I have uh, set up on the board here. I've been working and organizing. I've got some of my other rubble, rubble buildings out. There's a big one right here. Let's take a look at the Tiger tanks. I'm going to do more Tiger tanks coming up. The Tiger ones. <clears throat> this one is Panzer Gray, but with a coating of white on it. Nice number one, two, three. This is Dragon Armor. They sell these where they come in a plastic case and a cardboard outer box so you can with a window so you can see into the tanks. Very nice. The tools, the shovels. The turrets turret will turn a little bit and uh, the gun goes up and down. This one's an earlier one where you can feel it's cold to the touch where they used more die cast as they went along. They became more plastic, and eventually they became just plastic, but you still refer to them as dragon armor die cast. Let's look at the back here. I believe this early, uh, the FIFL filtration system that they had on here, they were going to use that in uh, the desert. It's all this extra, because you see it next to... Uh, that decking there is a lot different. And it's got the uh, smoke projectors. Two of them have that on it. Very nice. This one is a battery operated one. You can see in there the button battery and the switch doesn't work because it's been on the shelf for years. So I'm going to have to try to open that up and see if it's uh, not corroded and it might work. And it's just the kind where it's on off and just it moves forward. But they did a pretty good job on it considering uh, that it has the battery in it. I, have, I think I have another one of a different type where it's got a little light and it's actually got a remote control where it does more. And that's pretty good for this tiny little scale. Right over by the buildings here. It's got a early poster in the Fira. Yeah, yeah. These two are the same. I wound up with two of these, but you can see uh, over time the the smoke projectors got knocked off of here. So a little da damage, battle damage on there. This is a sort of a famous one. When you look through, uh, if you're familiar with a lot of uh, photos of the units, where this one has the Tiki uh, slogan on it or name. I don't think I ever saw where they exactly got the, what that exactly means. It was, must have been just something that the, the particular uh, commander or crew wanted on there because sometimes there were names on there of different things there it is on the side so it's very cool so i have two of these very nice and this is heavier and this one has the metal uh cool to the touch turret this is a very early one you can see it doesn't have what they call the rommel kitsy with the storage bin on it so it looks a lot different and it's got the early drum cupola and there's a, a lot of other features on here that i can't really point out but it shows it's the very early version they started these coming out in very late 1942 i think they promptly lost some up near leningrad and they were captured and of course, it came into its own in uh, 1943, where it was the king of the battlefield. And by 44, the King Tiger came along, and then, then they had the uh, mid to late uh, 42. The Russians started with the JS-2, an answer to the Tiger tanks. 
because earlier they just had the KV tanks, which were heavy, but their gun wasn't that big. So very neat. And you can see it's got a nice little bit of a camouflage on there, sort of a black and tan. There's a different type of number. And these are always based on uh, a real camouflage and a real unit. So that's the way it looked. And then this one is a built and painted model. Don't remember which brand this was. So this wasn't pre-built and bought like these. This was assembled. Weathered. And this also has the rifle system. Nice cables on there. Nice numbers. Track. So forth. Put that down the road here. So you can see it tucked in the building. If anybody's familiar with the Kelly's Heroes movie with Clint Eastwood and a lot of other stars, they had uh, what they were calling Tiger Tanks and were, were Tiger Tanks in the movie, but they were adapted and made for the movie out of a track this unit of a T-34 and then they did their best to make a turret and so forth but anyway they were going down tight roads and stuff very good movie if you haven't seen it and this is a quick little bonus here for folks that stuck this far to look at some of the buildings got more buildings and a lot more to come some of these have made built and painted some were pre-made and so forth so let's put the other tiger over here. And turn that here. The rubble so you can get the scale. And look, that's some of the backgrounds I've done. I still got to get to making more backgrounds. And that other one isn't finished. And you can make city backgrounds, a winter background, a fall background, and so forth. Not enough time. <laughs> They always make time to have at least one new video a day. And for World War II, 172, I always have two a week. Once in a while, one extra one, but usually two a week. So I'm going to do another Tiger video and show packaging on a very neat camouflage, a special one, and I'll post that one in a week or so after this one goes up. Until next time. More World War II, 172 scale. Thanks for watching, everyone.